Hello, my name is Mega Heberlein and I am a classroom observation scorer at the Iowa Reading Research Center. My Friday Reads recommendation is The Undefeated by Kwame Alexander. This book is recommended for students second through sixth grade. A celebration of black Americans and their history and resilience, this book uniquely utilizes Alexander's long form poem to draw attention to the achievements of numerous people, some of whom have been overlooked in the past. One of my favorite things is that at the end of the book, Alexander includes biographical information for each of the people mentioned either in the text or seen in the illustrations. It also has some information about the events that were included in the text. I think this is a great way to spark students' interest in learning more about these people and events from the past. This book offers the opportunity for students to practice comprehension skills as there are numerous people and events referenced in this text that may not be well known for students. Thus, they may need guidance in taking in the new information. Utilizing something like a comprehension graphic organizer that focuses on pulling out the main idea as well as listing supporting details may be beneficial in connecting the information in the text to students' prior knowledge. Additionally, the book offers the opportunity to address the big, unfamiliar words that appear throughout the text, such as unflappable and audacious. Teachers can pre-teach some of these vocabulary words with student-friendly definitions or use contextual analysis to infer the definitions. I think this book could easily be incorporated into a history unit due to its references to many historical figures and events. I also think it would be a great fit for people who love art, as the illustrations by Kadir Nelson are powerfully engaging and capture the emotions of the events and people referenced so well that the readers are able to feel it themselves. I'm Mayaka, and my Friday Reads recommendation is The Undefeated by Kwame Alexander.